In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to the town of Nazareth in Galilee to a young woman named Mary, who was engaged to a, the man named Joseph of the house of David. Upon arriving, the angel said to Mary, Rejoice, highly favored one. God is with you. Blessed are you among women. Mary was deeply troubled by the angel's greeting and wondered what these words meant. The angel said to her, Don't be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. You will conceive and bear a son and give him the name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the only begotten of God. God will give Jesus the judgment seat of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his reign will never end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have never been with a man? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called the Holy One of God. And now, your relative Elizabeth has conceived a child in her old age. She who was thought to be infertile is now in her sixth month, for nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, I am the servant of God. Let it be done to me as you say. With that, the angel left her. This is how the birth of Jesus came about. When his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found to be with child through the Holy Spirit. Her husband, Joseph, being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace, decided to divorce her quietly. But... Just when he had resolved to do this, an angel of God appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, heir to the house of David, do not be afraid to wed Mary. It is by the Holy Spirit that she has conceived this child. She will have a son and you are to name him Jesus, which means salvation, for he will save the people from their sins. All this happened to fulfill what God has said through the prophet. Look, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of God had directed, and they went ahead with the marriage, but had no marital relations until she had given birth. She had a son and they named him Jesus. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus ordering a census of the whole Roman world. This was the first census and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All the people were instructed to go back to the towns of their birth to register. And so Joseph went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David, Bethlehem in Judea, because Joseph was of the house and lineage of David. Joseph went to be registered with Mary, his espoused wife, who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. She gave birth to her firstborn, a son, and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of God appeared to them, and the glory of God shone around them, and they were terrified. The angel said to them, You have nothing to fear. 
I come to proclaim good news to you, news of a great joy to be shared by all people. Today in David's city, a Savior, the Messiah, has been born to you. Let this be a sign to you. You'll find the infant wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. Suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God. 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 Peace on earth. Glory to God, glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth, peace to those on whom God's favor rests. When the angels had returned to heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go straight to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place that God has made known to us. They hurried and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in the manger. When they saw this, they reported what they had been told concerning the child. All who heard about it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds went away, praising and glorifying God for all they had heard and seen, just as they had been told. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, astrologers from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the newborn ruler of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising, and have come to pay homage. At this news, Herod became greatly disturbed, as did all of Jerusalem. Summoning all the chief priests and religious scholars of the people, he asked them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judea, are by no means least among the leaders of Judah. For from you will come a ruler who is to shepherd my people, Israel. Herod called the astrologers aside and found out from them the exact time of the star's appearance. Then he sent them to Bethlehem after having instructed them, go and search diligently for the child and when you have found him, report back to me so that I may also go and pay homage. After their audience with the king, they set out, and there, ahead of them, went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child lay. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts. Glory to you, the newborn king. I come bearing gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another route.